Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. No, oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What'd he say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues. Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh, oh of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. No school, no tax, free barbecue and pinball for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is still <laughs> Chavez. I own a small one-bedroom home, a business selling flowers to people stuck in traffic. Three or four radios, all turned on to BCPR. A dog, 15 ice cubes. But I don't feel safe. I'm worried about gangs. Gangs are a myth put out by the liberal elite to patronize and demean the working man. I mean, what kind of right-minded youth from a poor background is going to spend his time stealing things and posing in silly clothes and he could be getting ahead with a minimum wage job and making his parent proud? The dream of America is to live in a duplex and share a yard. Why would anyone want to threaten that great future? Answer me that and I'll show you a green dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund, we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping, a community within a community. Gangs are a way to be noticed in the boxy suburbs. You scream out rather than urinate at the edge of your camp like a proud native. We spray paint our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. And that's supposed to terrify people? No, no. We believe passionately in nonviolent solutions to life's problems. Gangs have to learn to love, to be inclusionary. We'd award badges to good gangs and give bad gangs a silly hat to wear. It would give people something to feel a part of. Kill with kindness, not a garden tool. Yes, but what about the guy getting beaten up on the street? Or the man having his motorcycle stolen? What about him? Or her? Some of the best bikers are really women. Anyone can join our group. This is about poor people getting together. But your father owns half of Florida. How are you part of the working class? Like I said, possessions are not important at all. I'll pick up a hitchhiker in my convertible any day. The other day, I picked up a young woman and we discussed a non-violent solution to war. We called Okay, I'll drive for you, but please. Your father is a great man. He's done more for the arms trade in this.